you will also note that they ask in this specific question to determine the true shape of the sectioned area or the sectioned plane, which is from that point right to that point, but what the true shape would look like. In other words, if you would have cut that and sliced it like a thin slice of bologna or even, even thinner if you could, what would it look like if you laid it flat in front of you, the true shape of it? And that's what I want you to determine in this area here. So this is how we go about it. You will first of all draw yourself an XY line parallel to this section line. I repeat, this is of grave importance. Your XY line must be parallel to this section line. Then you are going to project all these points because you need to draw this whole pyramid here. Yes, there is another method which might be easier, which I will show you in a little later stage. But I want to show you that the same method you've used here and here can be applied here to determine the true shape. And then also how we actually get to that true shape. So we're going to draw our XY line and we're going to project this pyramid onto this area. As you can see, I've done here. The XY line parallel to the section line and my projection lines. Now, please take note, this is important. Projection lines are always projected at 90 degrees to your XY line. As you've done here, as you've done here, the same, you've got an XY line here, so you're going to project at 90 degrees perpendicular to your XY line. We then go about the same way to determine that pyramid as we've done with the top view and the left view. We would measure point one, skip point one, and measure point one. You could have measured point one, skip point one, measure point one, doesn't matter from which view. You will measure point three, skip three, measure three. You will measure two, skip two, measure two. You could have done the same here, measured two, skip two, skip two, it doesn't matter. The same with point T, which is here. This that I've shown you here, distance Z, measure that distance, skip point T and measure that distance as you see there. Or you could have measured top point here, skipped top point and measured there. After that, we will obviously join point one with point two, with point three, with point T. Point T has been joined with each one of the points on the base. You will now see that my base is visible. I am looking from a direction as this arrow is moving from that direction. I'm viewing it from that direction so I can see the base, so my base is visible. Therefore, if I look onto that base, I cannot see line T2, which is T2, this line, and therefore it becomes hidden. I've now taken these intersecting points at the base. There's two intersecting points, as we can see here, as well as there. There's one in front and then one at the back, or an intersecting point between one and two, and an intersecting point between two and three at the back. So there's two intersecting points. I'm projecting it right up to this baseline, two, three, and the one, one there, two there, that intersecting point. But as I've explained, one, two has been intersected, one, two has been intersected, two, three has been intersected, and two, three has been intersected at that point. The same here, T1 is being intersected, so T1 has been intersected there. This one, T3 is being intersected, so T3 is being intersected at that point. I've now joined these intersecting points with one another to form the section that we would see. But it seems like there's so many lines that we can be confused. So at this point, I'm going to wipe out a few lines first. First, I've wiped out lines that uh, was green and blue and red. So you can see where the intersecting plane would have been, or our section as we call it. So that's my true shape. And that's all that they actually want. They only want the true shape. They do not ask the pyramid seen on AA. They only ask for the true shape. In actual fact, they ask for the true shape of the surface. So I'm going to wipe out all other lines so that only the true shape is left. If it was to be hatched, if they wanted to see what it would have looked like, then this part would have fallen away and we would have only seen that part left. So that's what the hatched area would look like, the sectioned plane. And because it's parallel to this section line, parallel to the XY line, this is going to be a true shape. Each one of these lines then will be true lengths. 
this is what they actually want. That's what the question expects of us. We have to draw that. Now, there's an easier way, as I've said. We could have then projected this shape by only just doing this, taking this point. There's two points here. Measure the first one. Skip that one. Measure that one. Measure the second point. Skip that one. Measure the second point. With this point, project that point. We're going to measure this point here or from the XY line there. It wouldn't have mattered. Let's take it from this point. Measure that point there. Skip that point. Measure that point. This point, project it, right? Measure it from the XY line up to that point. Skip this point. Measure that point. And that's how we would have been able to determine the true shape without drawing the whole pyramid. So I think this might be easier. Once you understand the top view and the left view, this would be easy enough, hopefully.